A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Churches of Campton in the Ministry area of West Cardiff. Today is Monday the 7th of October. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is psalm number 98, psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre. With the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world, and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We pray, Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from St Paul's letter to the Philippians. It's chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. <clears throat> Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God for every remembrance of you, always in every one of my prayers for all of you, praying with joy. For your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this, uh, this way about all of you, because I hold you in my heart. For all of you are partners in God's grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defence and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the tender affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what really matters, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. Here ends the lesson. Let us pray. In peace, let us pray to Jesus Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us. Saviour of the world, be present in all places of suffering, violence and pain, and bring hope even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lord of the Church, empower by your Spirit all Christian people and the work of your Church in every land. Give us grace to proclaim the Gospel joyfully in word and deed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide and enable all who lead and serve our community and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. Grant that we may seek the peace and welfare of this place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great physician, stretch out your hand to bring comfort, wholeness and peace to all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Fill us with compassion that we may be channels of your healing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Conqueror of death, remember for good those whom we love but see no longer. Help us to live this day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Lord God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us all and preserve us all from evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wherever you are today, I hope you have a fantastic day. And don't forget that if you are around in Canton at 10 o'clock this morning, it will be great to know that you're popping along to the Mother's Union Harvest Service in St John the Evangelist at 10am. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.